What is up guys and welcome back to another video and I literally just finished watching 13 reasons why and I just need to make a video about this because I can't believe all the stuff that I saw. I have so many conspiracy theories that I want to say so therefore I'm making this video of 5 conspiracy theories you need to know about 13 reasons why and before we start the video let me just inform you there will be spoilers obviously. Anyways let's get straight on the list with number 5 Tyler killed Alex. Principal Boland walked into a room with Porter and he announced that Alex shot himself in the head and is in critical condition. What if Tyler was the one who actually secretly killed Alex, making it look like suicide? If you remember, towards the end of the episode, Tyler takes on the picture of Alex. Could this possibly signify that he completed the job for him? Number 4. Tyler took Alex off of his hit list. If Alex did indeed actually end up attempting suicide, then the other reason why he was removed from the hit list was because Tyler doesn't see him as a bully. As Tyler was removing the photo of Alex, he had a flashback. The flashback was showing how Tyler got help from Alex with the bully. The flashback doesn't show the part where Alex says, don't ever talk to me again, or something like that. Maybe Tyler took so much shit throughout high school that he doesn't even care about what he said afterwards. He is just happy that someone stood up for him for once. Number 3 Justin shot himself One more theory involving that one ambulance scene is this one. If you actually zoom in really closely, you will notice that the victim in the ambulance has brown hair. This had led many people to believe that it was actually Justin who shot himself. Justin even admitted to nearly killing himself to Jessica in the last episode. Once Jessica said that she doesn't want to see him ever again, maybe that was it for him. We do know he has a gun from when he packed up at his house before he left his mom and her crazy boyfriend. This could be some laziness from the director, but it is still possible. Number 2, Clay is becoming what he hates. As much as Clay would hate to admit it, he is becoming what he hates, which is a bully. Clay was always the nerd in school who was occasionally bullied. But in the episode with the Tyler tape, he took it upon himself to get revenge for Hannah and even took a picture of Tyler naked, sending it to everyone in the school. This caused Tyler to receive even more bullying and Clay has yet to realize it. Clay's act of revenge is going to cause Tyler to kill multiple people including Clay himself. What's worse is Clay is trying to justify by trying to help Skye get better because she is clearly in need, but that doesn't change the fact that he ruined another kid's life. And number 1, Porter will get rid of his tapes. In the very last episode of the series, we witnessed Clay telling Mr. Porter all about the tapes and he knows how Porter didn't help Hannah the day she committed suicide. Porter at first questions how he knows, then Clay gives him the tapes and suggests he does the right thing. Many fans have speculated that Porter will not come forward and release the tapes. Porter has denied ever seeing Hannah multiple times to lawyers and such. Porter's main concern is about losing his job as well. He cried to his wife because he was scared he would lose his job for their family. Now, Porter will see this is the one opportunity to destroy the only piece of evidence. Little does he know that the Bakers actually have the files. As you can see, there are a lot of unanswered questions, and this is why I think it will be great to see a season 2 for this show, because there is so much more story that needs unfolding. Let us know what you thought about these theories in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. Follow me on Twitter at Valenplana, and I'll see you all later.